at least is going to be doing my hair on the day, which I'm really excited about. Um, and we thought we would film it and show you guys not only what I'm doing, but also a tutorial on how to create a really kind of relaxed down do for your wedding day. Because I always wear my hair down and I didn't want to go along the kind of classic route of putting your hair up and doing something totally different for your wedding day. So I think we are going to create quite a nice relaxed wave. Yeah, something really nice, relaxed, very soft. Um, that looks effortless but still has that real goddess feel to it so you you know you really you feel glamorous and you feel confident that it's going to stay in all day but still just really soft and, and natural naturally beautiful like so. Perfect, oh thank you. So if you want to see how we are going to create my wedding hair then keep watching. Okay so Flo what we've done I've started off with blow dried your hair through just to get it prepped in and we've used the GHD root lift spray on it first and I've worked this through section by section so we get lots of hold but lightweight hold to it I've then gone in with a slightly stronger product with the total volume foam and that's going to give us a little bit more grit mm -hmm. and a bit more a bit more guts to the hair and what I'm going to do now is just section this away we're going to quarter this off so you don't feel if you're doing it yourself you don't want to feel overloaded with too much hair so you can just do it like one colour at a time kind of thing? That's it, yeah, you just don't want to have too much, uh, too much hair there to deal with. Now once you've got those four sections in, you can take a small section through the back and that's the one we're going to work with to start with. I'm going to work through some curl hold spray. Now this is a little bit like hair elastic, so you know sometimes when you have your hair curled and it can drop as the day goes on yeah. and they lie a bit limp, this has got a real spring to it and memory, so when we curl it, it stays springy and bouncy through the day. So I'm going to place the styler in and I'm going to turn it under 180 degrees and then just run through to the end. Now to get a really even curl, it's vital that you do this at the same speed all the way through. Otherwise you'll get tighter in some areas than others. And then I'm just rolling this up with my fingers and it's, it's almost giving it like a roller set to it. And that's just going to hold the curling while it cools down. And again, for that extra guarantee of longevity through the day for you. So, by keeping them no more than an inch deep, and then two inches wide, I would say. Then when you place the styler in, you don't get any lines in there, and it just sits quite comfortably. Okay, so we're going to continue, just as we did through the back, we're going to continue this same pattern up there, again with the horizontal sections all the way up to the parting, again on the other side until the whole head is uh, curled and pinned. Right, so Flo, now we've finished, I've got the curls in all the way through, we've finished all of the two sides. I'm going to come back to the first ones that we started with and these are the ones I'm going to take out. Uh, these will have had plenty of time to cool down so uh, we know that they've set in place. Now, if you were doing this sort of early morning and it was for going out, or in your case for your wedding, you don't want to take them out straight away. You'd be better, you might as well leave them in until close to the time, so then you get a real nice crisp curl to it. Okay, so Fleur, now we've taken all these clips out, and you can sort of see these nice curls. springy curly hair. <laughs> so now we need to start dressing it, because um, I'm sure you don't want to wear Yeah, no, it's not the look I was going for at the moment. <laughs> So I'm going to section this off, it doesn't have to be neat sections, um, it's just a little bit starting with the underneath and we'll work our way through. Okay so to brush it out we're going to use a paddle brush and I'm going to use some of the final shine spray. Spray this on, if we put a little bit onto the brush it just stops the static coming through so this will just give us, still give us some tameness to it as we're brushing through. And then what we want to start doing then is just adding a couple of drops of the serum and I'm going to work this on the front and the backs okay. of my hands. So then when you put your hands through, even the underneath gets worked on as well. So I'm going to work this through the ends first and then we'll work our way on. And now it's brushed down, you can see how much softer it is. Yeah. We also wanted to sort of look at how it would be if we just took some of it back so it sits where, you, where your veil's going to yeah. sit. So I'm going to take some of the hair 
split it into two. It's going to do a very gentle twist, so it just locks into each other. And then I'm going to tuck that underneath the hair and I'm going to anchor that in. And that'll just really hold it into place and stop it anything from slipping out, but just give you that still really nice loose feel. And then we do the same on the other side, and that instantly gives us something there yeah. that we can anchor that veil into. Perfect. Yeah, how's Thank that? Thank you so much, I love it, it's perfect.